Girls Gone Wild founder Joe Francis is in trouble with the law again. Francis was found guilty of assault and false imprisonment stemming from a fight he had with three women after a night out at a Hollywood club in 2011. A dispute broke out after they went back home and he tried to separate one from the other two. Francis grabbed one of the women by the hair and throat and slammed her head into the floor. He could face up to five years behind bars. I don't know how he met these women. Um, I assume that's, um, you know, he meets women all the time. He just walks around. Um, this was in Hollywood. Um, they were apparently celebrating out at a club, celebrating um, the college graduation. Presumably, they struck conversation, and uh, the three of them went home with him. Um, but, you know, when I read this story, I was just kind of like, hasn't this guy, like, wasn't this guy already locked up? Like, I assumed long ago that he had already been sort of imprisoned because um, time after time we hear about his, like, tax evasion or about you know, filming underage girls, this guy's just like a boatload of trouble. So um, with this... Not all that surprising. Yeah, I mean, if, a guy that founded a, you know, entertainment brand by filming under uh, girls, you know, exposing themselves isn't going to have a bright future ahead of him, I don't think. What were they expecting to get out of it? Do they know anything about this guy leading into it? Um, you would hope so. I mean, you know, it's, it's hard to um, think about now, but, you know, back then, in, between 1997 and the early 2000s, when he created Girls Gone Wild, it was a huge brand. And it's kind of funny to think because it was really that era before the Internet. So, like, he sold these tapes and he made, like, millions of dollars off of them. Um, but yeah, It's almost this trust we put in people that have made it to that level. Yeah. You know, even though he's been behind bars before, it's like he's, he's made it in life. Yeah. You know, we, we, we can trust that. Yeah, well, I mean, he's since gone bankrupt, and he, he's now facing five years in prison, so we'll see where he goes. Not a